you might have heard about the mean stack, which is MongoDB, ExpressJS, Angular, and Node.js. Whereas MongoDB as a database, ExpressJS as a backend framework, and Node.js as a backend server, and Angular as a Spark framework. As well as a very similar stack, which is about to mean the React, it is called MERN. MongoDB, ExpressJS, React, and Node.js. But have you heard about this thing, Beam, which is Blazor, ASP.NET Core, Entity Framework, and MongoDB. Whereas Blazor acts as a single page framework, just like the Angular and React, and Entity Framework is not actually the Entity Framework, it is a MongoDB driver, which acts like an ORM, as well as the ASP.NET Core, which acts like a backend server framework, and the MongoDB as database. Really very excited, right? So let's get started. I assume that you guys are already installed .NET Core 3.0 and Blazor templates as well as the MongoDB in your machine. If you don't know how to do that, and just make use of the command that in the, which is available in the description. And let's get started. Here I just created a Blazor hosted application using the command called .NET New Blazor Hosted. So the first thing we have to configure and create a database in the MongoDB. So to do that, we have to use the command mongo. So here, first thing is to create a database in the MongoDB. So to do that, uh, we have to use the command use stock db, which is the database name. So here it is showing the command called stock db. So let's take, so it didn't display the database that we have created now because uh, we haven't created any collection inside of that data, uh, particular database. So now let's create the collection. So to do that, create collection, and uh, you have to say something like products, the collection name, which is similarly a table name if you are from a relational database backend. So it's just created. Now we just see that stuff. Here you're seeing that stock DB over here. So that's it. Uh, now we can insert some products. And and I'm also going to create a collection called categories. Create collection uh, categories. Okay. So now I'm going to add some categories. So to do that, categories dot insert meaning if you are inserting a single collection, uh, you can, uh, if you are inserting a single document, you can use the command single. If you are uh, inserting many, you have to use the command called many. So here you have to open up the subset and inside of the subset, you have to create a curly brace, whereas you have to define the key and the value, whereas the uh, here, the category name is going to be the something like um, food, And category name is going to be the drinks category name is going to be stationary items. So that's it. Now I can close this guy right here. So it's just created the three, uh, it automatically created the object ID and it just created three records. If you want to know about those kind of things, you have to use the command categories dot find. So here it is, you're getting the three things, food, drink, station. So that's fine. We are now good to go to create our project. You have to install the MongoDB driver in the beam.server as well as in the shared. Oh, just like here. And uh, and, and then I just added some HTML and CSS to just to make uh, this website a little bit prettier. So let's see that. So .NET run is the command. So we didn't find the exact project. So we have to change our directory to bean.share. So let's check that by running the project. So to do that, we have to change the directory to bean.server because that is the actual startup things are located. So then um, use the command .NET run to run this project. And it just run the application. And uh, just for the note, if you didn't know what Blazor is, I strongly recommend you to watch my previous episodes of Blazor, which is available in the description. So here is the application. I'm just having a single home tab and the a little bit of um, extra things in the HTML. And uh, and let's get started. Okay. I'm going to minimize this guy right here. And first thing that I'm going to do is to create some models. So basically, we have to create a couple of models, uh, whereas we created a couple, couple of collections in the database, which is basically the product as well as the categories. 
So here I'm going to do that. So right click, new file, and product. Oops, I didn't. Product of CS namespace. I'm just going to be beam dot share dot models. Okay, open up in public class product, and inside of that, um, first thing I have to add the unique ID, which is going to be the ID, uh, as well as I need to uh, use the data annotation called BSON, uh, which is the binary JSON kind of things in the MongoDB. Um, BSON, so to do that, BSON ID is the command. Uh, is the I have to I have to import this BSON ID attribute. So just uh, make sure to do that. BSON uh, just import this MongoDB BSON serialization attributes, as well as you have to add another attribute just to represent the object ID. So BSON uh, representation of import the mongodb.json file and basically it's very similar in SQL Server that we are setting this as a primary key but actually it's uh, it's not quite relevant because this is non-relational database you don't need to uh, confuse on relational kind of things because basically everything in mongodb is stored as a collection as well as in a document so next thing is I'm going to create another things like um, name as well as the as well as the category um, whereas we have to select the category for each product so then we have to select the department we also need to select the, set the price for each product and and we have to set the quantity for each product which means basically the stock the amount of stock which is available for the product so that's it then we have to create another model called category .cs, same thing namespace, uh, being dot shared dot models and public class end category, right? Mm. So let's just copy this guy right here because in category also we are having something called the same ID kind of things. So let's just arrange this thing and we have to import these two guys here. So that's it we are specifying the data type as the object ID so this object ID is basically if you see something like data TV dot categories dot find you see the object ID as something like a geo ID in dot uh, net um, it's, it's just a, a random hash value which is represented over here and uh, then next thing is we have to add the category name which is basically this guy right here so that's it we just created other models and then we have to create our application DB context, which is basically the product and basically the stock DB context.cs. So the same thing which we need to do, like doing the namespace. So here, So that's it and here is where we are going to connect the MongoDB with our project. So using some connection strings. So for that I'm going to create a interface on MongoDB. I MongoDB database and MongoDB. So just import it in the MongoDB driver namespace. So I'm going to create a constructor over here. It's going to be start db context. And inside of it, I am, and inside that, I need to create a variable called client, new Mongo client, and inside of the client, I'm going to use the Mongo TB colon hyphen hyphen local host, and the port number is going to be 27017. This is the default MongoDB port number uh, for all the platforms, and whatever that we are doing in Mac, which also supports exactly in the Windows. So you don't need to worry about anything as well as it's also support in the uh, Linux platform itself. So, so the next thing is uh, we have to get the database, like get database and make use of the database just using the database name, stock DB, I think so. Just Let's just take, check that stuff. Yes, it is stock DB. So that's it. <clears throat> and here we just get the database and uh, the first step is uh, get connection. So basically we just uh, connection string. 
connected the database and here we are getting the we get the actual collection that which is required by us because the problem is we are having a lot of collections over here so the problem is we are having a lot of databases over here show dbs if you see that you can have some admin config kind of things so you have to be very precise on what database that you're going to use so that's why we are getting the actual database and the next thing is we have to get the collection because inside of this particular database we are having a couple of collection one is product as well as another one is the category so we have to do that using the i mongo collection and we have to and we have to pass the product and um, and let's just check the db find dot sorry uh, db product dot find wait uh, uh, am i right with the name so i think i haven't created product yet so i'm going to do that using the db dot create collection so products so let's just check whether i just mentioned yes it is yeah oops i think i already created that stuff so db dot products dot fine so yes so i'm going to call this as product record and get return mongodb dot get collection of product in the product products so products over here and I'm going to copy this thing it's very similar because I also need to get the category So category record. So return category, and it's going to be the categories. Put semicolon over here in the both the stuffs. So here everything is looking fine. So let's move. So I'm going to insert data into the products collection. So open the curly brace. Yes. Name is equal to something like um, pizza. So come on. In the category, it's going to be food. And then the price. Price, which is going to be Mm. Uh, 78 76 and uh, quantity is going to be 15 so I just inserted a document inside of this collection and uh, the next thing is we have to create a controller in the server so go to controller which is going to be products controller but CS and I'm going to paste a default code for this and which is the basic controller stuff stock db context the first thing is we have to uh, create an object for stock, stock db context uh, but it's not the best way of doing this thing because we have to use dependency injection but just for beginners it's okay and all, as well as the demonstration it's good so the next thing is we have to copy this line from here and uh, instead I'm going to copy both the lines um, yes it's good to go so it just started to run over here and slash api slash product slash get products slash get all products here is the own record which has been created by us so the next thing is so next let's we try to create this stuff in the front end okay let's go to the pages and create a new pages and products dot razor and uh, that's it and we have to add the page and slash product oh we may call this as a stock so that's it and and uh, the next thing is uh, what I'm going to do is to create an h1 uh, in product data and um, 
and I'm going to copy this thing from here so just copy everything paste instead we have to use the product products forecast in the, the forecast is going to be products not p p p products just copy this guy right here mm, copy and paste it over here and also as well as we have to do this stuff over here in the same everywhere mm, yeah it's not going to be the case But using um, at using HTTP inject HTTP client and uh, HTTP over here, and it will make sense to do this kind of things. Mm. Yes, obviously, it's not going to be the name. It's going to be the name, price, quantity. Basically, we have to change this over here. Name, price, quantity, and category. Right? Uh, let's just get rid of the category now. Let's check for uh, this guy right here. And here, it's not going to be the sample data, it's going to be the products plus get all products right so let's just check this stuff out whether it is everything working fine so it's not the products it's product so we have to import using shared beam dot shared dot models so we can get this thing mm -hmm. now let's just close it and open it Let's change over here. So here, let's check it out. Yeah, here it is coming. Name, price, quantity, everything's fine. So let's just reload, rerun this thing. Okay. Um, so the page is stock. So we have to go to stock. It's loading. Yeah, perfect. We just fetch the data from database. Fine. 